All right, good morning, guys. It's uh, the third day, so we're planning about eight miles today. Uh, camp out somewhere just before the confluence with the white and leave us probably six or seven miles tomorrow, but most of it on the white to Ship's Ferry. But uh, had a good night. Got down to about 50, um, so I slept pretty well. Uh, we've broken everything down. We're going to switch boats today, let everybody, the other uh, two guys have the drift boat for a couple um, today and tomorrow. Um, but yeah, it's been a good trip. Um, I think I touched a little bit on what we were doing yesterday. But just in case I forgot, um, we had started off throwing uh, sinking lines like 200, 250 grain on six weights. Uh, decided to break out the floating line and lengthen our, our leader so we're fishing about 10 feet down. Uh, sparkle buggers and crawdads, crawfish, crawfly, crawfish flies, things like that. Um, and just basically jiggling around the rocks. Uh, I was fishing uh, 10 pound fluorocarbon, um, you know, like I said, 10 foot leader. Um, nothing special, just uh, basically letting it sink and just kind of jigging it around and caught some good fish. So. That's probably the plan for the day. Start doing the same thing. We got some clouds moving in. Keep the rain jackets closed. Um, but other than that, it's been a it's been a good trip. Eating good, drinking some beer, hanging out with some some friends. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go help them. They're uh, they're getting the boats ready now. So we're uh, we're about done. So I can tell you what I've been doing. I've been fishing really slow and just basically like trying to let it set in the water as much as possible. Like letting it sink and then just basically like barely bumping it. And then watching the end and seeing if I see like that fly line move or whatever, you know, and just twitching it. Almost like you like, yeah, almost like you're nymphing with mm -hmm. Just a uh, fly line. And then when it gets shallow, I just swing it. So like that, like that, try to hit that right there, you know, and let it sink down beside it. And I'd watch it. And then if it gets close to something, kind of move it. And just work it around. Anything I see, just kind of, just jigging it around. But. Good fish. You saw it too, huh? I saw it. Good looking water too. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's a fine fish. Let's go it's switch been out for a while. Okay. Bye. Then slow us down. It don't fall out. Bring him on my. Oh, you're on the wrong side. Oh, sorry. It's alright. But that net's stuck over here. There we go. Oh. Yep. Make it look like a crawfish. Perfect. Bye. There, you got a nice fish.
There he is. Okay, yeah, so we uh starting to rain a little bit. We heard, heard some thunder, so we stopped and uh, wanted to maybe start looking for a place to camp. We're getting kind of cl uh, close to Confluence. I think we're probably four miles away, and we didn't want to have to go all the way tonight because it gives us like, you know, about eight miles to finish off tomorrow. And if we keep pressing, um, there's been some people paddle in front of us already, and here's a, another group of people, and they're probably all looking for a campsite as well. So I think we're going to at least explore this. So I found a place up here. Uh, to throw my hammock and there's a big gravel bar right there for some tents. So that's what we're doing right now. It's gonna see if we can find a place to stop for the night and uh, do some dinner and try to stay dry. It looks like it's gonna rain. It's starting to clear up a little bit though. So had a good day so far. All right, so yeah, we decided to go ahead and camp out here for tonight. There was uh, those canoes and kayaks fastest uh, they were staying and there was another tent and another boat. So kind of getting crowded and we didn't want to paddle down further and end up having to take second dibs or whatever on a uh, what was left over as far as gravel bar so I'm gonna string up right here got two trees I'm gonna clean that one off a little bit didn't want to go back in the woods um, and have to walk through all the grass take my wet shoes off and wear my flip-flops and but yeah that's what we're doing right now gonna put up this uh, hammock and the low is only like 60 tonight so should be really comfortable so and then we'll find some firewood and make some dinner that's it All right, so we're uh, we're packing up. It's the last day. We got about eight miles. It's like two miles to the white, um, the confluence of the white, and then we got another like five miles down to Ship's Ferry. Uh, we'll get out at. So we'll start off uh, throwing, you know, doing the same thing we've been doing, uh, fishing for smallmouth, and then we're gonna rig up a couple um, five weights for each boat and do some nymphing. Um, but I uh, wanted to go ahead and talk to you through some gear uh, and talk about some of the stuff I'm doing. So for here to do, on the strip, I went ahead. Brought my spot. I just got this. This is for my long trip I'm going to do. So I've been testing that out. And so far I like it. Um, we'll make sure. Got to test it. Make sure it comes out. Uh, you know, the points and stuff that I've sent. They get received. Been playing around with it at home. And it seems like everybody's, you know, getting the updates and stuff. So that's kind of cool. But I uh, want to make sure it's in testing in real world. This is, uh, you know, wilderness area. No cell service. So it's kind of what I'll be using it for when I, when I leave. But uh, other thing we've done, you know, I slept with the hammock. I'm just kind of waiting for it to dry out. It rained last night. So kind of see I like to lay out a little tarp to keep my stuff organized and just give you a place to stand I'm off out of the rocks um definitely wasn't the best sleeping situation um i think my buddy brad has a really cool situation i'll link the i can't remember what the name of it is it's a one man kind of like lightweight not quite backpacking but definitely a uh, kayak and boat friendly but it's a basically it's a kind of a footprint with a tent um and a rain fly and you can separate the tent from the rain fly and what he was doing early was he was setting his uh, tent up uh, and putting his q horror his you know sleeping pad on the ground on the sand when it wasn't you know like this and when we got here what he was able to do was detach the tent uh, and then basically have a rain fly and then he had a footprint and was able to put his um, he has a, a lightweight uh, cot it's, you know it sets about four or five inches off the ground he was able to set that over over the top of the rocks and put his uh, air mattress on top of that and you know put a bug uh, liner inside so he had a bug net around him and he was out of the rain and protected from the uh, the bugs it opens up on both sides so you get tons of ventilation and it had a lot of a lot of storage inside so it was really cool he said it was like 200 bucks so i'm gonna look into it when i get back because i think it's a good a good definitely something like this is pretty perfect because um like last night i had a hard time finding trees that were separated enough to run um the fly and then i had to double up and like wrap the the little attachments for the hammock like three or four times. I'll show you what I did because if you ever find yourself with a, a hammock and you can't get it to, to fit because these straps sometimes get really long, uh, just wrap it around three or four times until you get to where your first catch is right at the tree. And I did it on both sides. The hammock fit perfect, but um, the rain flies a little long, you can see. But it kept the rain out, kept the dew off, so it was pretty perfect. 
But uh, yeah, the other guys were in a four-man tent, um, kind of pretty standard for gravel bar camping around here, uh, with uh, Q-Core Deluxe Thermal Rest, and they said they were really impressed with it. Uh, so they didn't sleep, uh, or slept really well, and didn't feel the rock. So pretty cool. But that's pretty much it. Uh, probably walk through and explain my cam my camera setup here in a minute. Um, yeah, I got uh, yeah, lots of battery chargers, lots of batteries. Um, well, drag it out look at it so right here I keep all my batteries just in like that and then as I use one I just pull it out put it inside got a charger for charging everything and I bring you know tons of these little this one here is good because uh, it hooks up to my cell phone as well I have an Android so it has a connection for that pretty much just use this one Again, I think I got three charges out of that, and I was using about four GoPro batteries a day. Um, let's see what else is in there. And I have an anchor. This is this one last. Let's see. I've used it last night, and it's still got four bars, so it's pretty pretty full. As far as SD cards go, okay. So as far as SD cards go. I have a bunch of different ones. They're all, I think this one might be a 64. Yeah, 64 gigabyte. The ones I've been filming on mostly lately, and this one's full. Uh, 256. Hope you can see that. Um, I got three days worth of footage on that. And all I'll do is I'll put them back in here. In there, and then... That. All right, so that's pretty much my setup. You can see um, I have one GoPro Hero 8. Uh, the great thing about that is just a grab and go camera, right? I've just been, you know, basically wearing it on my head or, you know, like here I'm holding it and just kind of showing what I'm doing. And I'm able to fish all the time. I don't, it doesn't distract me. Um, yeah, that's all I pretty much got. Um, Try out the Sims. Uh, probably got to put some more time in them. Probably try some other things. I went without socks this trip and kind of rub my feet a little bit raw but um you know probably won't do that again but i need some more time in them before i can give a, a really good review on them but that's pretty much what we got, we're doing today we're gonna pack up here and head down fish the white and head home fish right in front of that right on oh i see it water. yeah what he is but... oh he's coming after it Okay. <laughs> oh, man. All the right ones. It's an influence with the White River. First house we've seen. And we're switching over to the trout ride. <laughs> I dig. <laughs> Yeah, I have to say, this is kind of like, do you want to, <laughs> kind of featureless, kind of featureless. There we go. Dog food eating the fish. Come Hello. Hello. All right, guys, it was a fun trip. We're done. We're at the uh, ship's ferry access, so we're gonna unpack, load up the boats. It's five miles, caught a bunch of trout on the way out, so it was a lot of good way in trip. So, 
Uh, if you got any questions, make sure you leave those. Talked about leaders and flies and stuff, but uh, we had a fun time. So, um, like I said, leave the questions and thanks for watching the video.